Good morning. It's Shay, the holistic doula. Spending some time outside. I have lots of herbs. Look at my herbs. That are due for for picking. I have lemon balm. I have peppermint. And I just figured I'd come out here and clip some. It's that time of the month, you guys. So I'm feeling like I feel tired and bloaty and of course getting cramps and so I had a rough night and all I was thinking while I was sleeping last night was I need some tea <laughs> and it's hot and I don't want tea but I'm going to make some tea so I'm actually planning today to um, make a big batch of tea. I'm going to do red raspberry leaf with peppermint and um, lemon balm I'm going to do the that combination that infusion um i'm gonna drink a hot one right now in the morning thankfully today is kind of a chilly morning which i'm enjoying so that i can have a warmer tea because warm teas no, on a chilly morning are a thing they're a vibe they're a beautiful thing so i'm going to do that and then after that i am going to make a big batch and freeze it not freeze it um Put it in the fridge. Chill it. There we go. I'm going to chill it. And the big chilled one, I will save and drink throughout the day as it gets hotter. Because we're estimated to be having some hot days. So, that is my plan for my teas today. Um, yeah, and I just figured while I was out here, I haven't done like a video like this in a little while. Just connecting and chatting and so I figured I would jump on and do that and just reconnect with you guys and say, hey, how's your summer going? Mine has been going beautifully. It's long, long days, short nights, and I like it that way. Um, lots of activity happening around, which is exciting. Lots of births, which is exciting. And so I just have to remind myself to take time to, here, I'm helping my son. I have to take time to relax and replenish, especially during the month where I'm having, having periods that can kind of knock the wind out of my sails. So I say months when I have it because I do not always get it. I am still breastfeeding my youngest. And so my period is, it's delayed. So some months I get it, depending on how much nursing was happening. Some months I don't, um, but this just started more recently. I thankfully am one of those moms that when I exclusively breastfeed, I don't get my period until we're at least um, 20 months in. Um, then I get my period after the 20 months. So with my son, it happened around 22 months I got it back, my middle son. And then with Kaya, it happened at, well, I would say 22 months for her too. She'll be two in September. So shout out to us breastfeeding moms. I know that it's a journey. Um, which is another thing I just wanted to jump on here about not so much the breastfeeding aspect but just making sure that we nourish ourselves um, and going back to the herbs drink your herbs educate yourself I'm not saying you have to be an herbalist but find out what can help you what's around you that can be, be helpful and beneficial because we have some good stuff this world gives us this earth gives us everything that we really need to flourish and to meet the needs of our body. So, you know, before we turn to, I get lots of text messages and calls about, oh, what can I do for my, to increase my milk supply? Or what can I do for this, this feeling, for feeling bloaty and feeling, and I know they're asking me because they do want holistic alternatives. Um, but I wish that it was more readily available that information i'm glad to give that information um, but i feel like as much as we advertise these pharmaceuticals and all of that stuff like let's advertise our herbs so this is your commercial from shay the holistic doula that says drink your herbs eat your herbs 
um, some of my favorites. Like I said, lemon balm, I think, may even be my number one favorite herb. And it's a favorite because it helps with anxiety. It helps to calm the body. It helps to cool the body. It helps to, um, to regain focus. And it helps to bring you, like, peace. It's a very relaxing herb. I like it even more than I like chamomile, even more than I like lavender. Um, definitely more than I like lavender. I don't like to drink lavender, but I know there's a lot of people who are like, um, if you're on Pinterest, they, they make like this lavender tea, right, for the summer, and they're like, it's a relaxing tea, um, and it helps with your nerves in the summer, so make a lavender, but like a chilled tea. And lavender is a beautiful herb, but it tastes like flowers. Yeah, it tastes like perfume, to me at least. Um, and so I can drink it, but I prefer not to. Now, baking with it, it makes beautiful cakes. It makes beautiful cupcakes, nice icing with like a nice floral note to it. But um, it's, it's flowery, lavender. So instead of lavender, I was trying to find something else that can help with anxiety and just learning and um, growing my own herbs and stuff. I started with lemon balm maybe five years ago. I grow it every year. It comes back every year. Um, and so I do lots of lemon balm. It's one of my favorite teas to drink in the morning, especially on my high anxiety morning. If you know me, you know how much I love <clears throat> That red reishi mushroom i love red reishi mushroom right lemon balm is right under that i love it just as much um as red reishi mushroom what makes me not love it as much is because it's not um as versatile with the mushroom i can put it in smoothies i can put it in hot chocolate like i can put it wherever and just drink it i can buy a tea from the store I um, might go to Dunkin' and if I get their chai tea, I'll just put some red reishi mushroom in the chai tea. So that's why I like red reishi mushroom just a little bit more. You can do the same thing with lemon balm, but with the lemon balm, if you just want a tea that you could just straight up make and enjoy, that is the one for me. It might be the one for you. So definitely try it out. Again, it's great for anxiety. It's great for calming. It's great for um, just nourishing the body, the mind, the spirit smells beautiful you can put it in iced tea you can put it in hot tea and give it a try my second one i would say that i enjoy um, is mugwort so i don't enjoy mugwort for the taste um <laughs> but i enjoy it for the benefits again this is mugwort is a great tea for um for during your time of the month it is a goddess tea. It helps with increased blood flow and um, increased if you study like Ayurvedic medicine, but your like your chi, if you study Eastern medicine, not Ayurvedic, even though they mirror each other. But yeah, it helps to just stir up the energies in the womb, in the body. Um, and it's, uh, it can give you a euphoric feeling. It's definitely one of those more spacier teas if that is something that you're looking for if you want something that really calms the body um mugwort is the one for that but you do have to be careful don't just take my word for it do your research on it um it's not recommended for breastfeeding moms it is close to the sage family which can uh, it can sorry it's it's early morning you guys so sage can decrease milk supply so mugwort is similar to sage in that regards that it can decrease um milk supply and it's not recommended during pregnancy it's hard for me to say that Ooh, spiders spiders everywhere okay mr spider come on now where did you even come from Sorry, you guys. The spider's like hanging off of my phone and I'm trying to put him nicely down. <laughs> um, so, yeah, mugwort is not recommended for, for pregnant women. It is a bitter and bitters can um, cause contracting of the body. And so you don't want contractions in, in pregnancy. Before pregnancy, definitely it because it is great and it increases blood supply and blood flow to the uterus 
Um, so it's good for before and it's good for after if you're not breastfeeding. I drink it in small doses, I'll be honest. At this point, Kaya doesn't necessarily need lots of breast milk. So if I cut back just a little bit, she would be okay. Once she gets back to it, she will put, you know, she will bring my supply back up. So if I feel that I need mugwort on a rough day, I will do mugwort. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it daily for a breastfeeding mom who is having some rough days do the lemon balm instead lemon balm is also good for kids tea just saying um what is the third one that i enjoy <laughs> moringa i enjoy moringa tea that is a good herb so this is a good everything herb um it helps to nourish the body and it's high in vitamins a c k um potassium iron it's like a super, we know Moringa is a superfood. Um, and it's really good for energy levels in your energy reserves if you drink this tea. Um, I like it as an alternative to coffee some mornings. If I, we shouldn't drink coffee first thing in the morning. Um, I know that that is like people listening to this are like, what? Coffee first thing in the morning is my thing. And it's a lot of our things, but it's not necessarily good because what we're doing is we're disturbing the circadian rhythms of our body. We're disturbing the rhythm of our body. If we're running to coffee in the morning, we start to become reliant on it because our body, coffee shuts off the signals in our brain that says that we're tired. So that's why we like it in the morning. Now those signals are shut off and they're not going to want to be up in the morning because you shut them off yesterday morning and they're tired and um, they are missing the cue that they need to be awakened because you usually use coffee to wake them, right? To stimulate them. So you want to take away the coffee in the morning. Coffee really shouldn't be needed until afternoon, mid-afternoon, that four o'clock feeling. That's when you want to drink coffee. Um, because at that point, it makes sense that your body may be shutting down, may be tired and it just needs a little boost. But first thing in the morning is not a good thing. Um, and as much as you can just like stay away from coffee and only need, drink it when you really need it, it becomes more effective that way. Um, and it's just better for your body and your body's rhythms. So I do <laughs> Moringa in the morning or green tea in the morning if I'm still feeling sluggish when I want to be up and awake. Um, so, sorry, my cat's playing with a stag beetle. And if you know what a stag beetle is, they have the like big pinchers and this thing keeps holding on to her and she's literally throwing him across the yard and then chasing after him she's having a great time i don't think the beetle is but it's funny to see her doing this right now um so yeah green tea in the morning is good moringa tea even better because it really gives the body the nourishment that it may need um because we lack so many vitamins so I would say those are my three favorite herbs to use. I use them daily or at least weekly. 